We're always beaming the hottest tech news to your mobile device. No accessories necessary. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. You can now watch live television on the go with a new service called Dial. And the first phone with the service is the Metro PCS Samsung Galaxy S Light Ray 4G. You can get a few channels. In New York, we're picking up four. And this isn't using any data. Dial is a technology developed by broadcasters and their friends to beam signals directly to mobile devices. There's no subscription cost. It's just a special chip they put in. And that means you're going to be paying more than typical for this phone because of that technology. Metro PCS has no contract to subsidize the price, so this phone's going to cost you 460 bucks. But this fall, you'll be able to get dial on your existing iOS device as a plug-in accessory. There's no word on what the devices will cost, but prepare to spend anywhere from $100 to $150 to turn your iPad into a TV. Now, would that be something you're interested in? Send a tout video with why you'd buy it or why you think it's not worth it, and we'll air your responses on the show. If you played the Zynga game The Ville on Facebook, you know it's an awful lot like The Sims. Well, Electronic Arts feels the same way because EA has sued Zynga for copyright infringement over The Ville being too much like its Facebook game, The Sims Social. Microsoft was describing Windows 8's new interface style with the term Metro, but now they're not using that word. The brand Metro is being dropped. But don't be surprised if a new branding term will be coined in its place. So you heard in our previous show that Google Wallet opened its service to all major cards and a Google blog post said it supports Visa, MasterCard, Discover and American Express. But hold on, American Express said in a statement that, hey, we didn't approve of being included in the mobile payment system. Awkward. Well, guess what? It still works if you want to use an Amex card. Google and Amex are just talking things out so everyone's happy, but you don't have to worry. Remember when being on Facebook was the big game changer for the presidential race in 2008? Well, four years later, now the campaigns each have their own apps. Shows you how the importance of technology evolves each race. President Obama's app, Obama for America, is a tool for supporters to share his policy stances and news, and it also has voting info for states. Republican candidate Mitt Romney is taking a different approach. Those who download the app, called Mitt's VP, will apparently be the first to know who he picks for his running mate via a push notification. That's your tech news update. For more on the stories mentioned in the show, you can always head on over to CNET.com slash update, or you can stay updated by just following me on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.